I think that uh, as a background, I'm a human doctor. So for me, it was fascinating to discover the dog as a potential patient with uh, spontaneous cancers, which are extremely similar to what we see in human uh, cancer patients. So they develop spontaneous tumors, which are biologically, clinically very similar to uh, what we see in humans. And also veterinarians treat these cancers as we treat human cancer with same type of therapies, including immunotherapies. And these solid tumors particularly uh, pose the same barriers to immunotherapies and human uh, cancers in human patients. Another fascinating point is that the tumor-associating antigens we want to target in human tumors are very similar to those in dogs. So that means that we can use cross-reactive reagents. For example, CARs, chimeric antigen receptors that we use in human can be also tested in the dog. And if we can develop a strategy in the dog and see that it works and is not toxic in dogs, it's very likely to be working also with similar outcomes in humans. So we can rapidly translate the strategy from a, a canine model into clinics very easily. The other aspect is from an immunological point of view, dogs are immune competent uh, animals and they're outbred animals. So their immune system and immune responses are very similar to what we observe in humans. And their immune system is experienced, meaning that uh, it undergoes the same viral bacterial infection that human undergo over time prior to developing cancers. And they're exposed to the same antigens, the same allergies, the same, the same toxins. So no wonder that what we see in terms of immune responses in the dog is very similar to what we see in human. And finally, the size. We can very easily see dogs 30, 40 kilos big, and their metabolic pathways are very similar to what we are serving humans. So that means that we can use uh, similar uh, numbers, cell numbers, uh, those based on body surface area or weight, and then we can use the same clinical schedules we will see, we will use in human with very uh, reproducible, very similar and representative outcomes. Also, because of their uh, larger size, we can proceed with uh, repeated biopsies, which are important from, from a diagnostic point of view, but also from a monitoring point of view to learn about the uh, disease course and the responses to uh, the therapies. So for all these reasons, I think we can really look at pet dogs as a parallel patient population that can allow us to perform some parallel studies in the dog and proceed faster in terms of implementation of more potent immunotherapies.